cracking everyone, Jobber here, and boy do I have a treat for everybody today. I will be opening up all six of the 2007 Yu-Gi-Oh tins in today's video, and here they are. One at a time here, we have the Elemental Hero, Grand Neos. Crystal Beast, Sapphire Pegasus. The Destiny Hero, Plasma. Volcanic Doomfire. Rainbow Dragon, which is personally going to be one of my favorites. And then, to finish things off, the Elemental Hero Plasma Vice. These are all six. We're going to pop it open all six in today's video. It's going to be absolutely epic. There's a little bit of a backstory on two of these tins. Um, so, these two right here, personally, uh, <laughs> those two have the Tactical Evolution Booster Pack in it. And so, supposedly, it is the only way you can go and get the Ghost Rare Rainbow Dragon misprint inside of it. Uh, there's no facts. Nobody's ever pulled one on camera, supposedly. And I guess this is the, a rumor that the only way you can get it is from these unlimited booster packs because it can only cut it, that misprint is only an unlimited ghost rare out of one of these booster packs that are in here. So I would be up. I don't know if that's even possible, but if we if that happened, that would be absolutely insane. And I got the, all these from one of my friends. He wanted me to do an opening on all of them. So he gave me a super good deal on all these tins. So that, that made this video possible. So thank you so much. And hopefully you are watching this video. Uh, I'll be doing that giveaway that I have said I'd be doing in that last video. I'll be announcing the winner in the comment section down below in this video. So look for your username to see if you are the lucky winner. And in today's video, we're going to be doing a, a pretty cool giveaway, I'd say. So I'm going to be giving away this super rare a Wing Karibo. And then we have the Elemental Hero uh, Shining Flare a Wingman Secret Rare. This is the old school 10 one. And then this is, came from the original DDS game. So this beautiful pink dragon right here, all three of these cards could be yours, and all you have to do is be a subscriber. So hit that subscribe, hit that bell, it's right next to it, so you turn on all notifications, you get notified when I post future openings. That's gonna come in handy, because I'm gonna announce the winner of these three cards in my next video. Comment down below your favorite card you see pulled in today's video, or your favorite card in general. Follow me on Instagram, there's a link in the description to that down below. Say hi, and I will always, say hi back. All right, so without any further ado, everybody, let's get cracking. All right, here we go. I want to hero Grand Neos. So we're going to try to do these all in order. <laughs> the, the the order is uh, by basing things off of the actual set. So you got the CT04, right? CT04, <laughs> EN001, then two, three, four, five, and six. So that's how, that is the order that I'm going to try and uh, do these all in. So we will start things off just like that. Put all these tins over here to the side. Get myself situated, and here it is, the Elemental Hero Grand Neos. We got some classic booster packs in here, the Elemental Hero Energy Booster Pack, Power of the Duelist, Cyberdark Impact, Strike of Neos, I, what is a Force of the Breaker. That's really, really gonna be awesome. I'm gonna try to be super careful. I don't actually don't have any of these tins in my empty tin collection <laughs> I have been acquiring. I have a pretty, uh, pretty massive one. This is going to be quite the treat for me. Oh my gosh. I've had these for quite a while. I wanted to have a bunch of really cool sealed tins and booster boxes saved up for the holiday season. Let's try to do my, my yearly grand finale. And here we go. All right, so we already got the little uh, case actually was not deliberate. I am going to try to get that out of here. All right, let's take a look here. Let's see how it looks on the back. It actually looks really nice. Wow, Elemental Hero Grand Neos is looking, looking pretty today. Let's go and uh, toss this beauty in a sleeve. And obviously I'm gonna be trying to put the prices up on all these cards as we move along. That is gorgeous, oh my gosh. Okay, and then we have, what do we have here? The Pocket Guide. That's really cool actually, <laughs> quite the fan here. That is really cool. Okay. And now let's move into our booster packs. Let's see what let's see what they put inside here. I don't think there's anything inside the tin. I can actually close up this tin and put this over to the side. Okay. So here we go. We have our Force of Breaker booster pack. We haven't opened up any of these on the channel in a long time. We have a Strike of Neos booster pack, Cyberdark Impact, Power of the Duelist, and then the Elemental Energy 
booster pack. All right, so these are all classic vintage booster packs that we're going to be opening up in today's video. And oh my gosh, here we go. The time has arrived. Let's get cracking. Let's pop these things open and see if we can get any epic hollows out of all of these classic booster packs we're going to be opening up in today's video. This is going to be probably a pretty long video, honestly. We have a lot of packs to open up, a lot of uh, a lot of promo cards to look at. Nice little crystal beast. I love the crystal beast engine. I think that I think that deck is such a blast. Even playing against it's so cool. So we got the Archfiend General here. That was our rare tornado. Very cool. Go through the rest of these cards, obviously. These have uh, been sealed up for quite a while. 2007, oh my gosh. That is insane, thinking that how old these tins actually are. All right, let's move over to our Strike of Neos booster pack. And I'm really hoping that we end up pulling a Ghost, uh, ghost Rare. I mean, that would be cool too. A Ultimate Rare in uh, today's video. Now, Electric Virus is a common card that was getting uh, quite a bit of play in different side decks and whatnot over the... the oh my gosh. And second booster pack we opened up, we end up pulling a Ultimate Rare pulling the rug. Oh my gosh. That is actually really cool and a good counter trap. So it stops ignition effects like Monarchs. So like Mobius, Zaborg, Thessalus, things like that. Stratos. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is insane. How lucky is that? Our second booster pack and we ended up pulling a ultimate rare. Wow. Oh, that is so cool. Gosh, that is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> that is that gets me excited right there. Oh my gosh, right on. All right, second pack. We already pulled our already got our ultimate rare, ultimate rare quota. No such thing. There's no such thing as pulling too many ultimate rares in one video. We're only on tin number one here. We have five more tins to go right after this. All right, so this is actually a nice little common card. Instant fusion, always worth a couple bucks. Chain strike, one of those cards gets played in a lot of the different burns. They, these uh, these barrier cards actually just got their first ever, I believe the first ever reprint in the new uh, gold series, pretty cool. Blasting Fuse is our rare. And it's cool because these rares in, in these sets are gonna become ultimate rare, which is really cool. All right, so Power of the Duel is actually a really cool booster pack. I, like, I actually really think it's cool how it's green. Not very many green booster packs in, in Yu-Gi-Oh in general, actually, come to think of it. And the next one's actually really cool too. I went to energy. I really like that. Uh, I really like how it's all purple. I think it is beautiful. Oh, that is actually a really cool. And this comes ultimate rare as well. It looks beautiful. It actually looks really beautiful. It's a rare. That's cool. Okay, well, let's move over to our elemental energy booster pack and another one of those old school sets. Man, I haven't opened up any of the one of these and or any of them in general in a super long time. Let's see if we can get anything potentially godly out of it. I mean, anything. Any ghost rares, any like ultimate rares, secret rares, any, any foil in general. It is well welcomed. Oh my gosh. Two ultimate rares and our first 10. Sithonian Blast ultimate rare. Oh my gosh, that is so awesome. That is beautiful, right on. Both of them being trap cards, we end up getting ultimate rare. That is too cool. Right on, so we have, uh, well, we end up getting three foils. Obviously the one is a uh, guaranteed. And then we, <laughs> and the only two foils that we pulled from our packs were ultimate rares. How awesome is that? Okay, well we have our uh, first our first tin down. Let's move over to probably one of my personal favorites here. The Crystal Beast Sapphire Pegasus, which is really cool. I think this one has the same, does it have the same boost effect? Power of the Elementary Energy, Power of the Duelist, Cyber Dark Impact, Strike of Neos, Force the Breaker. Looks like it. Okay, well the other one had like a little like air breather hole in the back. And this one does not seem to have that. So I'm gonna try to be careful and cut the corner here without cutting myself or damaging the tin. We want to keep this thing in pristine condition. I have no idea. I have no plans at all of what I'm doing with all these empty classic tins that I have, but one day I will do something with them. I have no idea what that is yet. Okay, here, here is our beautiful Crystal Beast, Sapphire Pegasus. That is absolutely gorgeous. 
A beautiful looking card. Okay. Let's see how the back of this one looks. I see... I see something on the back back. Oh. It's nothing? Yeah. <laughs> it's nothing. Like lint or something. I don't know what the heck that was. Yeah, this thing actually looks... It looks really, really nice. That is absolutely beautiful. So this will be... Uh, this will be one of those cards. I'll probably try to get all six of these graded as long as one doesn't have like a, uh, you know, like a nicked corner or something where it's actually, actually has legitimate damage done to it. Alrighty, so as long as my reading abilities were correct, which they most of the time are not, um, <laughs> these should be the same packs as our first 10, and they are absolutely gorgeous. Gosh, aren't these, aren't the packs just themselves just beautiful looking? I think they just look gorgeous. Gosh, that is cool. Five different booster packs, five different sets. That is absolutely awesome. We're gonna keep our trend starting, starting in order of how they had them in the tin. Well, at least how, in the order of how we see them in the tin. I guess it would be vice versa. The order they put them in the tin, I guess it would be this one first. Okay, here we go. More Crystal Beast love, Crystal Beacon. And we have the Eagle there, which is cool. I haven't seen anybody play playing the Crystal Beast deck in a really long time. Nice, we ended up getting a super rare. We got a super rare uh, Radiant Mirror Force. I love all the Mirror Force cards. I think they all look absolutely beautiful. That is gorgeous itself. Man, that is awesome. All right, we'll put that up here with our little, our growing pile of foils. Hopefully we get a couple of rows here. It would be really cool. As, uh, obviously, as you can tell, none of these booster packs are gonna be guaranteed any hollows in them. So it's really nice to, uh, <laughs> to pull them when we got them. <clears throat> okay, pack number two. Let's see if we can keep this, this really awesome trend of pulling foils, because uh, these classic packs, they do not like to give us foils, but as of right now, we have been on a hot streak. No, the trans uh, Transformation of Prophecy. Select two cards from your graveyard and shuffle them into the owner's decks. Actually, a really cool card. I ran this with uh, Combled with Ice and Fire Hand. Be able to get them back into my deck. <laughs> that was really cool. Especially really good. I had I was playing a match against my friend over at Locals. But it was, uh, I think it was Finals. And he attacked into my, my Fire Hand? My Ice Hand. It was my Ice Hand. Tucked into my ice hand because he saw the other ones were all on the graveyard, and then I chained that trap card, putting the other two, and I actually end up winning the game on my turn because of that. So that trap card's really good. <laughs> it's, in its spots, it's a very, very nice. And we have the Iris, the Earth Mother. That is a beautiful looking card. Check that out, everybody. Gorgeous. Okay, and we'll move over. Snipe Hunter, my gosh, I haven't seen you in a long time, my friend. I, you roll a six-sided die, discard a card, and then you get to destroy a card and your opponent's side of the field as long as you don't roll a one or a six. And needless to say, I don't have very good luck. So I was always rolling ones and sixes. <laughs> Gosh, especially the ones. So, and uh, yeah, so you get to destroy a card as long as you roll a two, three, four, or five, you're good. But uh, one or a six, you nothing happens. Which is no good. Oh, nice. Elementary Hero Neos. That is a cool Elementary Hero that we're going to pull. We have our Dark City here. This is a cool card. You can pay uh, life points equal to, what is it, a thousand to like lower the levels. You can like basically like normal summon a Jinzo from your hand if you wanted to. The lower level of monsters in your hand. It's pretty cool. All right, so we have our Elemental Energy Booster Pack. I think it's really beautiful because of the purple and everything. I was mentioning in our, the first tin. Non-fusion area. Okay. Let's see what uh, what little goodies we can get out of here. Now we got the VW Tiger Catapult. Classic Kaiba card. Oh my gosh, are you serious? We need to pull a Ultra Rare Elemental Hero Shining Flare Wingman. Oh my gosh. And I'm literally pulling the cover card. Woo! That is awesome! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, that is awesome! I got a high five to that. That is so epic! Oh my goodness, that is definitely gonna get sleeved up. Wow! I'm actually running out of sleeves here. I should have put more of these penny sleeves here. I've been using the penny sleeves over the other ones right now just because these are so uh, these are softer. So I don't want to like catch a corner or nick it or anything. That is awesome! Oh my gosh, what a pull! My gosh, these packs have just been awesome to us so far. 
And I can't wait to move over to our next tin, which looks like it's plasma. Okay, let's see. With this beautiful purple Destiny Hero Plasma tin. Here we go. I'm assuming they're all the same packs yet again. It looks like it. It does look that way. This one has a little breather hole. Okay, my razor definitely needs to be sharpened. I swear I could probably use a uh, spoon and do better damage than that. <laughs> that, uh, that razor blade of mine, I think, is all beat up and dull and it just does not do anything anymore. All right, here we go. I'm actually gonna move this tin out of our way, put that down there by my feet, and then add it to my wall of tins. Okay, let's see if we can get this thing out of here without damaging anything. Okay, come on. Be free, my friend. It's time for you to breathe. Ah, some oxygen for you. Destiny Hero Plasma, there we go. Oh my gosh. Awesome card, they comboed it with uh, scapegoats back in the day by offering the three scapegoats as a offering, not a tribute. Scapegoats can't be tributed for a tribute summon. This is not a tribute summon. So it was really awesome. Beautiful looking, it looks perfect. This is what we are looking for everybody. Perfection. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful card. Destiny Hero Plasma, all right. And on to five more of these awesome booster packs. Oh my God, I cannot believe we just pulled that. Wow. Five more godly looking booster packs just from amazing Yu-Gi-Oh sets. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is our tin number three. We are only halfway through. Let's see what we pull. Let's see, pack number one, Crystal Beacon. That was what we had last time. It's a good, oh, I think it was exactly the same. Those two cards back to back, actually. So I have high hopes that we're gonna get, was it a foil in our first pack, wasn't it? And yet again, that is awesome. Rise of the Storm Monarch, super rare. And if, if I am correct, yeah, right there. Radiant Mirror Forge, our first booster pack. Same two commons and led up to a foil. That is awesome, right on. I'm getting a, another foil right there. And Ryza actually comes ultimate rare. It is a gorgeous looking monarch ultimate rare. Let me tell you. Oh my goodness. And we have our Strike of Neos booster pack. It is a beautiful looking. All these packs are just stunning looking. I love the way they look so much. And here we go. The Electric Virus. Yet again. That's our second copy, I believe, that we have pulled. And let's see, at uh, Frostosaurus is our rare. Okay, let's move, let's move through these and move over to our Cyber Dark Impact. Maybe we'll pull a uh, Vanity's Fiend or Vanity's Ruler. Those are cool. Both of them prevent special summoning. Vanity's Fiend prevent, uh, prevents special summoning for both players. The Ruler is a two tribute monster, has a hundred more attack, making him 25 instead of 24, and prevents only your opponent from special summoning monsters. So that is a pretty scary tribute monster, depending on what you are playing against. Oh, right on, we actually ended up pulling a Vanity Fiend. I am okay that it's not ultimate rare. That's cool that we just pulled one in general. A rare Vanity Fiend, right on. One of my all time favorite uh, anti meta tribute monsters, we'll call it. <laughs> pretty cool. Another Snipe Hunter. All right, Power of the Duelist. Let us see what we will pull. What is it, M the Ambulance, nice. What is? What makes that? Huh, I don't think I've ever seen that carpet on the board. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't believe so. Oh yeah, this card, uh, this card looks pretty cool rare, looks really awesome as an ultimate rare. In case you haven't seen it, you should look it up online, just Google it or whatever. It looks gorgeous. And another Elemental Energy booster pack. Let's see if we can get some more love. So far, so good with all of our uh, these classic booster packs. I am pulling way more foils than I was anticipating that we would be pulling in today's video. So this actually turned out to be really cool. Feather Shot. It's our rare. No foil in there. We have a uh, Dark World monster. 18 attack. Man, I forgot about this one. Hydro Get On. It's really cool card. Destroy a monster by battle. You can another one from your deck. Pretty nice. Okay, moving over to our next... No, no we're not. 
Okay, so what we're going to do here, I believe the volcanic doom fire has the tactical evolution, I said earlier, and tactical evolution for the rainbow dragon. We're going to put those two. We're actually going to jump all the way to the last 10, which is our elementary hero plasma vice 10. The reason why is because those two have the tactical evolution, and these this one does not. Oh, tactical. Oh, this one has tactical evolution as well? Yeah. Oh. Oh. I was informed that the Rainbow Dragon and Volcanic Doomfire were the only ones that have it. This is actually absolutely fantastic. That's better. All right, let's see if we can go pull ourselves a misprinted Ghost Rare Rainbow Dragon. That would be awesome. <laughs> pull a Ghost Rare in general would be awesome. Oh my goodness. All right, here we go. Volcanic Doomfire. It would just be really cool because I'd be the first person, I guess, on the planet to have it recorded. <laughs> All right, here we are. Volcanic Doomfire, everybody. Let's see. This tin looks like it was a little bit dented on the top. And... Oh, man. Come on. There we go. There we go. Right on. Let's get you off of that. That's that rough surface and into my hands all right yeah that is looking it's looking pretty dang good there's a little tiny itsy bitsy bitty witty witty little mark down there on the bottom but i don't know if that'll even affect anything it is so minor okay let's go and toss you into a sleeve my friend Volcanic Doomfire, Secret Rare, gorgeous. 3,000 attack, 1,800 defense, Fire Monster. All right, what do we have here? Konami, Digital Entertainment Incorporated. Feel the sound. How old are you? Too old. Alrighty, whoa, my gosh, the inside of this tin just, I think it just, did, oh, it's just disintegrated. Wow. That was uh, broken down. Let's see what we have here for our booster packs, though. Move those down there. Oh no. Did, did it get damaged? Oh my gosh, I hope not. It looks warped. <laughs> I hope not. Tactical Evolution, Force of the Breaker, Strike of Neo, Cyberdark Impact, and the Power of the Duelist. Alright, so I'm gonna be a little bit sneaky. Oh my gosh, it feels like it might have been warped. Might just, might just be the pack. Might just be the pack. Be positive. We're being positive. Force of the Breaker and open up these. I want to save the Tactical Evolution. I will open up all three of those to end today's video. And that would be absolutely insane to pull a ghost rare. That will probably, you guys witnessing me have a heart attack. I almost had a heart attack in uh, our last video. <laughs> that was insane. All right, Gravekeeper's Commanded. That name is way off on the side there. Beautiful card, though. Awesome looking ultimate rare as well. A Volcanic Scattershot. And over to our Strike of Neos booster pack here. Yugi Gods, give us some pulls, some good ones. I've already been pulling some amazing cards so far. Let's see if we can keep this luck going. Another transformation, all right. No, it was not Ultimate Rare, but it's our second copy. All right, and the Cyber Dark Impact Time. What is this, Flame Ogre? The Flame Ogre. Vanity's Call, very nice. And another rare. No ultimate. Okay. That's all right. It's moving moving right along. Move right over to the power of the duelist. Bum, bum, bum. And all right. Let's see. And we have aliens in here. That's actually a cool looking common. Ooh, nice. Overload Fusion. My gosh, when this thing first came out as the Ultimate Rare First Edition, they were so expensive. Same was, uh, gosh, I remember off the top of my head, uh, Neo Spacing Ground Balls, Ultimate Rare First Edition back in the day. That thing, when it first came out, they're like $55 a piece. They're a really good card. All right, so here we are, the Rainbow Dragon tin. Well, let's see if there's actually a breather hole back here. There is not. So I am going to try and use my doll spoon razor blade here to get this wrapper off and have this rainbow dragon breathe yet again. All right, here we are. The rainbow dragon. Isn't that card just not absolutely gorgeous? And would not would this not be even more gorgeous if you pulled it as a ghoster? Oh my goodness. Okay. 
Let's see if I can get this this guy out of here. Oh, I feel it. Yes. Try to be so careful. There we go. Yeah, that is looking it. You are looking pretty, my friend. There it is, Rainbow Dragon. Gorgeous looking. Oh my gosh. Uh, border is not perfect. So there's no way this would grade a 10, but that is okay. It is still going to get graded. Still will be absolutely beautiful. All right, Tactical Evolution Booster Pack. Now we have our next four. Let's see what else we can pull from here. Pulled a lot of rares in the last one. Maybe we'll get some more ultimate rares out of here. Oh my gosh, these cards are so warped. Oh my goodness. They are like a taco. Oh, does that mean there's a foil in here? I hope so. My goodness, these commons are warped. Wow. <laughs> Not even a foil. I don't even know why they're warped then. That is insane. <laughs> I've never seen, I've never had a pack like that, ever. That is so crazy. I wonder if all of them are like that. Probably, huh? Well, let's, uh, let's go through. Take a look. Yeah, they're all warped. Oh my goodness. I don't know why. It's not, and I'm not in a humid area. I live in Northern California. It is dry. Oh my gosh. It is very dry over here. We have to pull a secret rare spear, spirit of victory. That is awesome, right on. Okay, definitely gonna get a sleeve. Oh my gosh, I am out. I am out of sleeves, let's see. All right, Paul, I've got another pack of sleeves over here on the side, just in case. We end up pulling some more foils and we will get more foils. So, I will be ready. All right, move. Okay, I'm gonna situate myself, putting these commas over here to the left. To the left, Cyberdark in pack, our next pack. Let's see if we can get ourselves one of those ultimate rare fiends. That would be really cool. All right. Beautiful. Oh, right on. Hey, get me, get me a, a nether foil here. Nice little super rare. Nice little treat. Add that to our pile of growing supers. And we have a chain strike. More of those barrier statues which are really cool, actually. And get the Earth one as well. All right, onto our last booster pack here: the Power of the Duelist. Let's see what do we get here. Sabersaurus, nice little common card. Another Overload Fusion, not Ultimate Rare, unfortunately, but we have two of those now. All right, moving over to our last. Oops, our last Yu-Gi-Oh team. What is it? The Elementary Hero Plasma Vice. Which is actually really cool. And I will have to be popping open my uh, pack of sleeves I just grabbed. Oh man, this is going to be hard. I don't... Oh, there we go. There's some extra plastic over here on the side. Just don't... I didn't want to like push through the plastic and accidentally like nick or scratch the tin if I don't have to. That's what we are trying to avoid. Well, let's... Get in here. Come on. There we go. Elemental Hero Plasma Vice. And it is time now to pop open my pack of sleeves because we are going to be needing it. All right. We are officially prepared for <laughs> the sleeving of this card. Let's see if we can get this guy out of here. Come on. There we go. Oh. Don't fight me now. Right into, right into Papa's hands. Very nice. That is gorgeous, man. I don't know if we're just getting really lucky. They just come out like this, looking like really good. I think they'd be rattled around a little bit more, but yeah, we are really lucking out here. I think this is why I wanted the penny sleeves because these sleeves right here sometimes are a little bit tight, and I just do, I just do not want to nick a corner. There we go. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Right on. Okay. Our last Tactical Evolution Booster Pack. And four more packs. Let's see. 
what we pull today. Force of the Breaker. Okay. Got, we only pulled one pack secret rare, right? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. And I got a, got a couple of ultimate rares in there, which was nice. And obviously the tin themselves have been giving us those promos. Obviously been putting the price tags up on those. I'm not exactly sure off the top of my head what they will be graded. But we will find out. Uh, Volcanic Scattershot. Very cool. <laughs> All right on. Oh my gosh. What a awesome one to pull. A ultimate rare volcanic shell. Oh my gosh. This card was played at three. One of the old school decks back in the OG days. Oh wow. That is absolutely gorgeous. And 1000% worthy of being sleeved up. Oh wow. That is a beautiful looking card. Wow. That's my favorite ultimate rare that we pulled in today's video for sure so far. Dang, that is awesome. And probably because the other ones were traps. I love traps, but pulling a monster is nice. Okay, so on to our Strike of Neos booster pack. Puppet Plant, very nice. Actually, good common. And let's see. Oh, nice, we got, get, got ourselves a uh, our first rare DD Crow. It's a good card. Hopeful can it, right? We got three, kind of like three hand traps. Well, hand trap DD Crow, but the other two are like monster effects that you do activate in your hand, so I don't know which one to call those. <laughs> Cyber Dark Impact. All right, here we go. It's our last chance to pull one of the Fiend's Ultimate Rare. Let's see if it'll happen right now. Snipe Hunter. That's our third one. A little play set in today. That's actually kind of cool. All right, no Fiend Ultimate Rare, but we did pull a Vanity's Fiend Rare, which is pretty cool. And then one of the barrier statues and the earth one. We had the same thing happened to us last time. We got the earth and the dark one in the same pack. That's pretty cool. All right, so our power of the duelist booster pack. All right. And we'll go to the grand finale here. Trying to see if we can go and pull ourselves a ghost rare. Oh my gosh. I told you guys this card looks absolutely gorgeous. Ultimate rare. We pulled it as a rare, and now we pulled it as an ultimate rare. And I could show all of you how absolutely stunning this card is. Oh my gosh. Is this not absolutely gorgeous? Woo! That is awesome. Gosh, that is such a gorgeous looking card, ultimate rare. I love the blues. Oh my gosh. That is so. Dunning. Time to get you sleeved up, my beautiful ultimate rare friend. Wow. Let's see if we can get that in there a little bit better. There we are. That is gorgeous. Wow. Dang. <laughs> His last 10 is giving us some incredible luck. That is awesome. Elemental Hero Neos again is our second copy. All right, here we are, everybody, to the grand finale of this opening, I'd call it. It's just the, the chance of us pulling a Ghost Rare Rainbow Dragon misprint, apparently. We'll see. And if I pull a Ghost Rare misprinted or not, I will be absolutely ecstatic. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Tactical Evolution Booster Pack number one. Let's see what do we pull. The Broken Bamboo Sword. Combos with the Golden Bamboo Sword, drawing you two cards. All right, so uh, I actually kind of, I've got this card before as a misprint. The name was like Secret Rare or something. I think I still have it. It's pretty cool. <laughs> That's actually Volcanic, vol Volcanic Rat. That's quite the card. All right. Counter, counter, literally counters, counter traps. It's a counter trap that counters counter traps. That's its whole purpose. It's pretty cool. All right, on to our second booster pack here, Tactical Evolution. All right, here we go. <laughs> Three tries, counter, counter yet again. All right, and oh, what did we get? Oh my gosh. Wow. What an incredible ultimate rare to pull. Oh my gosh. Dang, that is awesome. Oh my goodness gracious, that is so cool. Dang. All right, let's get you sleeved up right now. Oh my goodness. 
Dang, that is beautiful. Got three ultimate rare monsters, five ultimate rares in total out of all of our openings. Oh my gosh. Wow, that is great. All right, down to our last booster pack. <laughs> it is the one I'm afraid is all warped and beat up. Let's see if it is. Even if it is, that's okay. They are warped, but not damaged. That's good. A little bit of warping is okay. We can flatten these out. Let's see if we can pull something ghostly out of here. What is it? Oh, no. Oh! Oh! It's a misprint! We got a misprint! Boosh! Look at the name! It is a, it is a, like, the secret rare names. And it's, where's a rare? <laughs> I need an example! Going through commons, found it. Oh, that is so cool. It's like a secret or a ghost rare name. I don't know what you want to call it. We pulled a misprint though. There is the hunter dragon. And obviously you can see right here, just totally silver. And the, the name on this one is all like rainbow. Oh, that is so awesome. Right on. Dang, we actually ended up getting it. We didn't get the rainbow dragon misprint thing, but we ended up getting a misprint our last booster pack. Hunter dragon. That is really cool. Dang, that's awesome. Woo, that's great. All right, wow, this this opening was actually really good. We got some incredible pulls. Oh my gosh, so we got our one misprint here. And let's go through our ultimates right next. So we got the King of Snakes here, some Marine Roid, Volcanic Shell, and then our, our we pulled these ones really early on. Let's see if we can get these over here. The Sithonian Blast, pulling the rug. So there's our five ultimate rares. And then put these over here. We got our, our lone pack secret rare here. Spirit of Victory, which is gorgeous. We end up getting uh, three super rares in today's video as well, which are absolutely beautiful. And let's pick up our beautiful oh i can't forget about you oh my gosh how did i forget about you elementary hero shining flare wingman ultra rare we end up pulling in today's video and then the last part last but not least we got the crystal beast sapphire pegasus destiny hero plasma elementary hero grand neos elementary hero plasma vice volcanic doom fire and then rainbow dragon oh my goodness Oh, look at that haul that we got in today's video. That was absolutely epic. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. If you guys did, please remember to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below your favorite Yugi card you saw in today's video. Follow me on Instagram. Say hi. And I will always say hi back. Stay tuned for my next video. Look for your username down below in this video. Look for your username in the video in the next one. See if you are the lucky winner. And on that, Jobber here is signing out.